Good morning, everybody. It's Laura. Welcome back. Um, I've been promising you guys for a while a video on um, cooking video. Okay. Today we're going to make the pot roast and I have like dust bunnies on my crock pot um, from, you know, towel fuzz from where I cleaned it. <laughs> now I got towel fuzz. But anyways, um, Anybody else's crock pot get this white, no matter how clean it is, there's white in it, whatever. Um, anyways, we're going to go ahead and um, I'm here in my camper, obviously. Um, I was going to put it on the burners with my two burner griddle on it, but it does fit on top of my sink thing. And I'm just going to plug it in. I haven't even made my coffee yet. But we're going to make that pot roast, and I'm going to kind of uh, hold my phone for part of this because I'm I'm not really rigged up, <laughs> right, to be able to do videos in my camper yet. I, it, it's a process, guys. I'm getting there. So um, hold on a second. So the very first thing we're going to do is I'm going to cut up some onion. Um, and this is... I believe in the food pantry also, but I don't remember if it's this month or last month. Um, it was just in the refrigerator. Um, I have not bought an onion, so I know this had to come from the food pantry. We're going to take this outer skin off um, just because it has like spots on it. And I'm not really going to slice this down um, because I am cooking a roast and it is going to be in the crock pot for some time. I want bigger slices, nothing too small. Um, I will be cooking this on low for probably six to eight hours. It is a good size roast. It is boneless. Um, it does not say how many pounds it is. So I'm going to attempt to get you guys over here where you can see what I'm doing without me holding you. Let's see how this works. Okay, so I actually have you back there by the faucet. This works pretty good. You can see the crock pot. That's all you need. And again, I'm making sure that I don't have any more lint down inside of here because I wiped it out with a towel, paper towel, and I noticed lint. And if I see lint, I, I freak out. I'm... It's just the way I am. Um, I'm, I'm one of those people that it, it bothers me. So we have our roast, which, oh my gosh, I'm like all over the place this morning. Um, trying to get myself. So you all remember this roast that I got from the food pantry, okay? It does not say how big it is, okay? I've already opened it. It's been thawing, so it's plenty thawed. I drained out all the gunky stuff already so I'm just going to put this roast in the crock pot I'm not going to cut it down I said I drained out all the gunky stuff there's still quite a bit in there I just don't have as much to deal with I'm going to just lay him in there he fills that crock pot guys from end to end okay and I'm going to take my knife we want the fat side up because you want that fat to um, go down in there and it helps keep it moist and it helps the flavor but we're going to slice down into this not all the way through you know like you're slicing it in pieces you just want to you know kind of slice the top like you would you know back in the day our mothers used to take pork chop like a pork roast that had the pork chop like bones in it and she used to slice it and cook it with uh, the homemade stuffing in it oh my god that stuff was the bomb I'm gonna lay my stuff right there and then we're going to take because this is a big crock pot and this is a big um, roast get my spoon just laying right here we're gonna use two cans of mushroom soup okay two cans there's one 
put that back up here. I want as much on top of this as I possibly can. Oh, I forgot my margarine. Um, Alan's in the shop. Let me holler at him for a stick of margarine. Okay. I've got my half a stick of margarine I need. Um, however, I was not driving half, uh, like 15 miles. Well, it would have taken like 15 minutes one way to get a jar of garlic, minced garlic, because I checked my garlic and it was like outdated and it smelled, oh my good Lord. If it smelled good and looked good, I'd have said, it's okay, we'll go with it. So, there we go. Two cans of cream of mushroom soup. And I do use poultry seasoning. I just sprinkle it on top so you guys kind of see what I did there. And then we need some salt and pepper. Where's my pepper shaker? I see my salt shaker. I did not put my pepper shaker on the shelf of my salt. There he is. He's hidden in hiding. I use my salt shaker all the time in my coffee, so... We're going to, don't think I'm using a lot because that's a huge roast, guys. Okay, it looks like a lot, but it's not. So there's my pepper. And it looks like a lot more than it is. Believe it or not, that may be a quarter of a teaspoon. Maybe pushing half. And then I want, I could have sworn I brought in garlic powder. Here it is. Because I should check my garlic. We're using garlic powder. Normally, I would drop in a teaspoon to two teaspoons of minced or crushed garlic or some homemade garlic that, you know, you chop up yourself. But, um, yeah. I goofed, guys. Normally, you would use real garlic in this, not garlic powder. I'm a little disappointed in myself. Um... And let me get something to wipe that knife off. I don't want goop. Not that it really matters, but beside the point. Um, and now we're going to, this is about a half a stick of margarine. I'm just going to put it in slices and drop it in there on top. You can add just a dash of water or milk if you want, but you really don't need to. A, you've got the margarine. B, this is going to cook and it's going to create its own juices, so you really don't need to add liquid. And then, um, I'm just going to put them in my hand so I can see what I'm doing. I'm adding two bay leaves. Um, I learned to do this from a friend of mine. Shout out to Shane Watts. If you happen to be watching my videos, shout out to you. Thank you for teaching me how to do a really awesome pork roast. Because this is the bomb, guys. Okay. I would have never thought to do a pork roast adding the garlic and the onions. And once that's all in there, you want to put the onions on the very top. I don't know what the trick is why the onions on the very top but that's what he taught me something about um adding the onions on top of everything i don't know it's uh you know make sure you have plenty of onions on the very top and then the rest can go down along the sides like so so there you go and I'm going to take and pull my spoon out. And I'll wipe that off. So, everybody, um, I hope you enjoy seeing this video. 
Um, again, I'm going to, let me wipe off my hands. I am a mess. Um, I'm double checking myself. The onions are in there. The bay, the bay leaf is in there. Two of them. Two cans of cream and mushroom soup and my roast. Salt, pepper, garlic powder because I don't have garlic. Um, and poultry seasoning. One of the biggest um, things you don't want to forget. You don't need liquid. I'm trying to get my lids back down in the cans and they're not wanting to go. That's fine. Um, now we're just going to put the lid on. And this is going to cook. I'm going to get her plugged in. For on low, six to eight hours. Oh, turn the baby around. Um, on high... Because um, I'm going to cook this on low. This is going to cook all day. This is our dinner. On high, uh, you would want to cook it at least four hours. You want this to be tender. This is a pork roast. You want it to fall apart tender. I am having mashed potatoes today. Um, and carrots and um, gravy. So there's our dinner. I've got it started. I'll bring you back when everything is done. And I'll see you later. Bye, guys. Okay, guys. So it's been four hours. I already lifted the lid to let the steam out so my phone doesn't get all steamy. But here you go. My, 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 my. You see it's bubbling, boiling. Yes. I did put it up on high. Um, oh, my gosh, guys. You, I can't. The whole garage... Because my camper, I have to get the concrete blocks to put underneath the camper. And um, we're going to have to order the tarp to fit the top of the camper. Um, but, guys, the, the whole garage, you walk out here and that's all you can smell is this roast. I'm, del I'm, I'm just over the moon. This is so good. I can't wait. Supper tonight's going to be amazing. All right. Back to you later. Bye, guys. Okay, guys, we're going to wrap up this video. It is done. I'm trying to not let the steam hit my camera. I'm going to take the lid off. Oh, I wish you guys had smell of vision. Let me set this down. Guys, this is like super duper tender. Check this out. Like, it just peels apart. Just like that. Look at that. I am going to take a slice right off the end here. It's probably way too much on my plate. I'm just going to take this slice so that you can see what I'm doing. And I'm just going to put it on my plate. And it's falling apart. So I'm going to plate this up. Guys, look at that. So there's my dinner tonight. Isn't that amazing? That looks so delicious. I have pork gravy, uh, mashed potatoes, carrots, and then my pork roast. Guys, this is so amazing. I hope you get a chance to try it. Like I said, I I forgot to check my garlic. Um, it was way out of date, like two years out of date, and I wasn't going to use it. I turned this off. Um, this is, it smells so good back here. Um, and anyways, um, I am going to serve myself up a little bit. I don't want to stick my fork in there. Of the onions also. I want them on my plate. Um, anyways, guys. I hope you get a chance to. If you get a pork roast from the food pantry. Anything like that. Make this. Um, and I hope you also 
get a chance to have this and enjoy it. Guys, I love each and every one of you. Thank you so much for hanging out with me. And I'll talk to all of you guys down in the comments below. Bye, everybody.